Good morning guys, Marcel here. Um, guys, today I'm actually gonna share with you some typical breakfast I make for my kids before they head out the door. Um, my kids, of course, uh -oh, my kids, of course, go, you know, to school. I don't homeschool. I did during the pandemic because I had to. <laughs> um, so these are gonna be quick and easy breakfasts uh, that I make on the fly get them fed and we get out the door. So I am gonna have a sip of my cup of cuppa here and uh, we're gonna jump right into it. Okay guys, so first up, I am gonna share a classic uh, breakfast that I make for my kids and it's maybe something that people more typically think of for lunch or maybe even a quick dinner, but we eat a lot of grilled cheeses for breakfast. Um, so it, nothing fancy to this. It is, you know, a grilled cheese, just like your grandma used to make a couple of slices of wheat bread, butter, and then these Borden fat-free singles that I love so much. So I'm gonna grill up a sandwich real quick and then I'll show you how my kids like to enjoy this in the morning, what they like to pair it up with. Okay, so my pan is really hot, guys. It's not really hot, it's like a medium high heat. So I'm just gonna spray it with a little bit of nonstick olive oil spray. <laughs> Sorry about that and then just right on with the bread. Um, you can use whatever cheese you prefer. If you wanna use an all natural cheddar, you know, Swiss, provolone, whatever works best for you. Uh, but I did have my pan heating up while I was uh, buttering the bread. So the goal here is quick, easy, hot, fresh. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna get this sandwich done and then we'll get it on the plate. Okay guys, so here's the final product. Here's our famous grilled cheese and apple breakfast. Um, my kids, you know, will always eat this one. This is comfort food, standard fare for them. Um, to be totally honest, sometimes my daughter, you know, she's nine, sometimes she's just not feeling whole fruit. So we shake it up and she gets to have one of her organic fruit pouches here or a go-gurt on the side. So grilled cheeses, you can have them just done on the fly. Like I said, hot, fresh, have them nice and full and ready to face the day. So there you have it, breakfast number one. Okay guys, so quick and easy breakfast number two brown sugar cinnamon quick oats, okay? Um, I don't typically buy, you know, the individual packets that are so popular. We just do this at home. Um, saves a lot of money and I can get them organic and I can control, you know, the sugar, the fat and all the things. Um, but anyhow, okay, so individual servings of brown sugar cinnamon oats. We're gonna be taking a third cup of quick oats we're gonna be combining that with some water and just a little pinch of salt. Gonna cook it in the microwave and then we're gonna flavor it up deliciously with a tablespoon and a half of light brown sugar, half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Gonna be adding just a little pat of butter and then a couple teaspoons or a tablespoon of milk depending on how much moisture it needs to be nice and creamy. But anyhow, I am going to quit blabbering on and uh, show you how I do this. Okay, guys, so uh, the individual servings of oatmeal in the morning that I make start with one third cup of oats, and today it's, you know, quick oats. Um, to get perfectly cooked oats, you double the amount 
or, or to any amount of oats that you're cooking, you you add double the amount of liquid. So I added one third cup of oats, so I'm gonna fill this one third cup up here twice with water and put it in the bowl. Okay guys, so I've added my water and so I have just a tiny little pinch of salt here. I'm gonna go ahead and mix that in. I'm gonna put this in the microwave for one minute or until all that liquid is absorbed. So I'll be back when this is all cooked up. Okay guys, so after one minute, uh, this all the liquid is absorbed, my oats are cooked, and so now I'm just gonna add the goodies. So I'm gonna take, this is probably half a tablespoon of butter, um, just add some richness to it and some flavor. And my kids are young, you know, they need a little fat. <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add a little splash of milk, probably about a tablespoon. I'll add more if it seems like it needs it, just to get it nice and creamy. Yeah, I'm gonna add one more tablespoon of milk. All right. And then we'll go ahead and go in with our sugar and our cinnamon. And this, you know, one third cup, you can see it made a really big serving once it is all cooked. So my son will eat this with some buttered toast and he will be a happy, happy camper in the morning. All right, there you go. Rich and delicious brown sugar cinnamon oatmeal. Oh, it smells so good, you guys. Yummy. All right, on to quick breakfast number three. Okay, y'all, so for quick and easy breakfast, number three, I am revisiting, resharing about these super versatile uh, two egg, two minute omelets in a mug, okay? You can put anything you want in these, and I originally shared this recipe back in 2019, which is really hard to believe that much time has passed. But today, I'm gonna show you how to make an easy bacon and cheese omelet. We need two slices of crispy bacon, two tablespoons of shredded cheese, a little splash of milk, and some salt and pepper. And I'm gonna show you just how quick and easy these come together for a delicious hot breakfast in the morning. Okay, y'all, well, here's our bacon and cheese omelet, hot and fresh, ready to go. I'm just gonna go ahead and top it off with this little bit of cheese I reserved. Uh, but these are the hot breakfasts I've been serving my kids lately on weekday mornings. I hope you found some inspiration for a hot breakfast on those busy mornings, and I hope it keeps you out of the drive-through line. Thanks so much for watching, y'all.